I am back again. I just got done filming the video on using coconut oil for uh, glue residue removal. And I failed to mention in that video that this was the Aesthetica Jameson wig that I've already reviewed. I reviewed that in one where I'm not talking very much. I just, in fact, I don't think I talk at all in some of the earlier ones. It's literally just meant to be a review of the hair without any talking and fluff, um, just for people who want to see that. But I did want to use this opportunity to show you why I don't prefer wigs without them being glued down. Why are, I guess I should just say why I prefer to glue my wigs down and why I've also become more fond of human hair instead of synthetic hair. In that last video, I will admit, it looked really good. And it still does right now. But I wanna show you what happens when you get up close and and before anybody even says it, there's that whole, people don't get right up in your face when they talk to you. I know people who do, and I work with people who do, and we literally sit right by each other, so I have a lot of conversations where we are, you know, like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom myself in, and you can see now, well, maybe you can't with the light. Let me get to an angle, there we go. I mean, even further back because of the lighting, I'm gonna go. You can see that this does, it looks like what it is, which is um, lace with knots. And you see that right there? I mean, even with, this wig cap fits me. It fits me really well. So even just kind of going like this, and you can see it comes up. So maybe I just need to educate myself a little bit more on the usage of an elastic band and how that would help keep that taut or keep that down but I just have not been able to figure that out. And I also have a really sensitive um, head where even sometimes a wig cap can be too tight for me and it gives me a headache. I had a headache all day on Monday because I wore a wig cap and it was just too tight. So I, I don't know, the elastic method just really kind of scares me. Hopefully maybe one day I'll give it another try because glue is kind of annoying to work with, but this is exactly why, I mean, even just right there, you can see, I didn't even really do anything. I'm a hair fluffer, if you could tell in that last video. I was constantly playing with it. Yeah, I was kind of itching it, which is not what I typically do out in public, but I'm just here with you guys, my YouTube friends. Um, so, I just, I mean, even just going like this, it lifts. Maybe an elastic band would help. I have not, been able to make that work so this is why I use glue now the whole human over synthetic might be hard to show in this video and I might have to get another one but I chose to kind of ride the coattails of still wearing Aesthetica because Aesthetica is known for having an awesome invisible lace front and the lace it works really really well for light-skinned people because it it really is like transparent so I will give them that. It's great in that regard. It blends right in with my, you can't even really see the line, especially when I use glue. It just, I think that's another reason I really like glue is because it really just helps the lace to really melt into your skin because it's adhering it. And so it's creating a layer in between your skin and the lace. And because of the way glue is and, and the lace being porous, it almost creates a bond. I mean, it is creating a bond, but it creates that bond that you can't see, you know, the lift and it's, it's not as easy to lift. And if it does lift, then your glue is not working. So that's another reason I like lace or why I like glue, but the whole human over synthetic, this hair looks really good. I love this color. I think it is 1488 RT8. I'll correct that if I'm not right, but it should be. And I love the color. It's really not too shiny. I think I put cornstarch on it like a month ago. And I really don't wear it that often, but for it to still be on and, and uh, the color looks just gorgeous is great. But it's because of the lace up here. 
and maybe aesthetic as human hair is the same way I don't know I've never paid that price tag for an aesthetic of human hair if they even make such a thing when I started going into the human hair route I just went a couple other different directions I went with different brands than what I've used for synthetics so I can't really judge the same companies but it doesn't matter Jean Renault Aesthetica uh, Raquel Welch. I've had some really good synthetic brands and I really do like them. I think the lace front is great with them, but when it comes to this part right here, you can see all the knots. And that says a lot coming from an Aesthetica wig because, um, and even in the front, even though that lace is amazing and it really does blend in, you can still see the knots and I think it's because of the color. So maybe if I were a blonde instead of a rooted, it would not be as bad, but I can't pull off a blonde without rooting. I just can't even for myself. So I really don't mean to be a synthetic snob. If any of you are friends with me on Facebook and have seen me post things, I have much love for my synthetics and my human hair alike, but those are the reasons for why I have been swaying more towards human hair than synthetic. I am going to try a couple of ten techniques on making this more believable. Maybe using, I have a couple of different ideas that I've seen on other YouTubes where um, they've used a wig cap and makeup and just makeup in general. I have tried some of those things before, but I found some techniques that look like they might really work, so I'd, I'd love to give them a shot because I have a ton of these synthetics and I, I put them all out for sale and I sold a few of them, but then I took them right back off because they are nicer around the house, especially now that I cut all my hair off. It's nice to have some different options and I would love to make them work. I mean, you've got these gorgeous, I mean, this cut and the color, it's just really, really pretty. So if I could just find a way to make this look more realistic by either using a wig cap or sewing a wig cap on there. And then of course, I've got my glue to make this work good. I just didn't glue it because I was planning on doing a few different reviews today. So I don't want to be permanently tied to anything. But if I could find a way to make the lace back here look like the human hair lace wigs do on me, I'd be down. I'd be down to keep my aesthetic at my genre now and to really market them more and give them more awesome reviews than what I do right now. Um, so fingers crossed if you have any ideas or tips or tricks or things that have worked for you or things that you would like to see done but you just either don't have a unit to try it with or haven't had the courage to do it or maybe even the time. I know time is crazy but I'm going to be off of work most this week hanging out with my boys while my husband's gone so let me know. I would love your feedback and uh, thank you for any of you who are watching and um, who have given me feedback so far. So, thank you.